<laughs> it's 8-11 with us right now. We have Joanna Mitchell and her young daughter, Riley, who's seven years old. Now, first of all, uh, Joanna, Riley was seven months old, just a baby when she first got her heart transplant. She looks like she's doing fine now. She is doing wonderful. She's healthy. She lives a normal, active life, just like any other kid. That's great. And so healthy, as a matter of fact, that she now has the bragging rights of 10 gold medals. Isn't that impressive, Adam? 10 gold medals? That's unbelievable. What events did you win gold medals in, Riley? Swimming, running, and ball throw. Wow. And you did that at the transplant games in Calgary and Quebec City, so you've done some traveling, too. And uh, is that fun, going to those events? Yes. I don't even have one gold medal. You have 10. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah, we got we got our work to do, right? And you know what? Uh, we we actually really do have our our work to do because this is, of course, uh, National Transplant or Organ Donor Awareness Week, and we also wanted to mention now because Nicola Lond and her son Jack, who's waiting for a second liver transplant, were also going to join us today. But Jack had to be airlifted to sick kids in Toronto. How is he doing? Uh, he is doing well now. They are hopefully coming home tomorrow. Um, but as you mentioned, Jack is on the liver transplant list. He was first transplanted when he was seven months old. And due to some complications with his liver, he is now on the list again waiting. Wow. Now, I understand you've organized uh, a walk that's taking place in Waterloo this weekend. Can you uh, touch on what's going to be happening that day? Sure. So uh, we are doing the Waterloo Transplant Trot. It's a 5K walk or run uh, sponsored by the Canadian Transplant Association. The main purpose of it is to raise awareness in the community of organ and tissue donation. We're also doing uh, one in London as well. So if you go to transplanttrot.ca, you can find the different locations and participate in one of those walks. Okay, now and, a lot of a lot of people don't realize that um, you know if you decide not to donate your organs, you can also donate soft tissue. My sister did that back in 1985. She donated her eyes, and, and as a result, like three or four people were able to see. That's right. Um, the same with us. My father-in-law, when he passed away, mm -hmm. we were unable to donate his organs, and we also donated his corneas. And uh, two people received the gift of sight because of that. Um, it's very important in Woodstock, our registration rates for organ donation is 30%, which is pretty good. The national average is 22%. Um, but not when, nearly enough, though. No, when you think about it, they say about 80 to 90% of people agree with organ donation. Just that they don't do it. But they don't go and register. So we're yeah. really encouraging people this week to go to beadonor.ca, register their wishes to be an organ donor. It only takes two minutes online. And uh, you can save up to eight lives and enhance the lives of 75 more through tissue donation. Wow. So that's that's a pretty big impact that you can make. Um, people like Riley are here today because families mm -hmm. made that decision. And like you said, just two minutes of your time. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to fill out the, you know, the back of your driver's license anymore. Yeah. You can go right online. But, but the most important thing, Joanna, is to discuss it with your family. Exactly. Because... At the hospital, it's usually the family who gets the last call, despite the wishes of the, of the person who has passed away. Yes, that's definitely important. Please get rid of those cards that you've signed in your wallet. Mm -hmm. They are obsolete. They're often not available at the time the decision is being made. If it's registered, then it can be pulled up. Your family knows your wishes, but definitely talk to them ahead of time. Then it makes the decision for them so much easier. Right. Right. Oh, hey, we appreciate you coming in yeah. and uh, passing along that message. It is very, very important. Yeah, and I know Riley's up for uh, five more gold medals at the next transplant game. What, what do you think? You got five more in you? <laughs> I think she does. <laughs> ne <laughs> next year in Moncton. All right. New Brunswick. East Coast. <laughs> Maritimes. The line of Canada. Good luck. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank and you. And definitely, uh, you know, send our prayers and thoughts and our best wishes to uh, Nicole and Jack. We want we that will, little guy to get sure. better soon. Thanks a lot. 815 still ahead. We have of the John Alyssa's Prize Vault. We are about to give away a family four-pack of tickets to our final charity game of the season. Heart FM and Friends taking on the Tavistock Braves this coming Saturday in Tavistock. Every Sunday morning, Heart 